in Tatsumi Port Island, you are a high school transfer student arriving late at your new co-ed dorm. You sign a mysterious contract and are then met by a couple of your dorm mates, Mitsuru who is student class president and Yukari who is just a regular student. Things seem a little off with your dorm mates which doesn't become apparent until the first full moon. During the night of the full moon, Yukari abruptly disturbs you from your chambers and requires you evacuate to the rooftop with her. Trapped on top of the roof, a large shadow figure appears and knocks Yukari down. You grab the object, knocked out of her hands, known as an evoker, and without hesitation or knowledge for that matter of the potential of this object, you use the evoker on yourself and summon a persona. You manage to defeat the shadow and become a new member of the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, or C's for short. You learn that every night at midnight, everyone turns into a coffin, except for those who have the gift to evoke a persona or those who are being hunted. This mysterious event is considered to be the dark hour. As you progress through the game, you must uncover the secrets hidden within the dark hour in order to save the world. The battle system is your typical turn-based system which allows you to take additional turns if you are able to strike the enemy's weakness or land a critical hit. If you manage to knock down all the enemies, your party can team up and perform an all-out attack, unleashing massive damage to your foes. Your school turns into a massive tower known as Tartarus which you must explore and dungeon crawl up 264 floors by the end of the game. It's still a Shimigami Tensai game which means you'll be recruiting and fusing monsters to summon in battle in order to become stronger to take on the vicious foes who await you. The game has a 19.3% completion rate with only a 2.5% platinum success rate, meaning that 13% of those who beat the game manage to get the platinum trophy. The rarest trophy to get is a cut above where you have to defeat Elizabeth or Theodore depending on who you choose at the beginning of the game. I really enjoyed this game and if you are a fan of the Persona series or Shin Megami Tensei games then you should give this game a shot if you haven't already.